Hello, welcome to Card Might. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Virgo weekly money and career reading from March 25th to the 31st, 2024. Virgos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Virgos, weekly money and career, March 25th to the 31st, 2024. Thank you all for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull two names uh, at the end of the month of March. In the last live of the month, I do lives every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for anyone that's interested in joining. If you become a member, uh, that automatically gives you access to a free question during the live. All right, let's get started. Virgo, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, the moon six of swords ace of swords all right so you're moving into you're finally getting that answer you're finally understanding what went on or you're or you're getting the truth or you're getting the information there was something confusing and that is really um giving you uh the energy to just move forward to let it go let it go of the uh, the nonsense the mon the the mindset that was trouble troubling you or blocking you you have an offer here with the page of cups so this conversation with the queen of swords now this conversation can be with a gemini libra aquarius to clear the air to get those answers to get understand what the truth was all about and why it all happened and why it was so complicated or why it blocked you in your mind and felt like you had to do it a certain way or had to respond in a certain way or had to had to do the job in a certain way something like that this page of cops is pushing you into a different direction partnership or something maybe with the water sign king of cups but i think you're partnering up here with someone that's stabilizing the situation that's giving you comfort that's giving you stability emotional stability so now you can start on a healthy foundation sort of filter your emotions make those decisions in a calmer way in a more mature way or in a clearer way you've cleared the air you've really cleared the air with that person or with that situation or with the, whatever was going on in your job or in your career it's becoming clear and it's also opening you up to a new direction right opening you up there's a choice you have to make clearly you're at a crossroads because you were waiting for that answer or, or even if you weren't waiting for that answer or waiting to clear the air this option here or this opportunity or this offer job opportunity or the opportunity to work on a creative project with this page of cops is really putting you in um in a new frame of frame of mind so that being said you're able to um put the past behind or put whatever was bothering you was triggering you behind and now um it seems like you're able to open or you're much more open to this new idea this new direction here with the page of cops 
I feel like it's your inspiration or something that what that stems from your idea, your creativity, your creativity or your inspiration. So um, embrace that, right? It's sort of instinctive. You know, it's the right thing to do. You know, it's the right way to go. Embrace it, even if it's something that you may not expect or from someone you don't expect the page of cups this offer it could lead you to a new adventure and and open up new doors it's a creative calling really and and so maybe it's maybe it's artistic maybe it's music maybe it's any kind of creativity i, I don't want to sector it in something specific it's just a strong strong push forward so go for it whatever is creative uh yeah with the high priestess you're you're highly aware highly in tune and you're getting those answers right with these secrets revealed i don't really like to say secrets revealed i feel like it's you're you're clearing the air you're you there's certain things you're really starting to understand and because you can understand them, because maybe you had a conversation or maybe finally some things are coming out or maybe finally you understand what is for you and what is not for you or the people you want to work with or how you want to create your business or how you want to move forward, right? This is allowing more information, more information and more skills to come in with the high priestess. So maybe your idea or this new job or this new direction you're taking is requires more skills requires training or 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 classes or connecting with people that have more experience but it's also you having to open those doors to your secrets right maybe there's an idea you didn't want to reveal or maybe you don't want to talk to people and maybe you've been that way and and you've sort of guarded yourself and you know, guarded, put up those boundaries because you don't want to real, reveal your secrets or you don't want to reveal certain parts of maybe your life, but most of all your career and what your creative process is, what your ideas are, you don't want to share them. Here, it's about opening up, moving out of that. I like that, right? With the Six of Swords, you're moving out of the constrictive energies where you can't share, you can't compare, you can't discuss. It feels like everything was very um, confidential, uh, very secret, very secretive, and no one was really allowed to talk about it, whatever it is, right? Whether it's a, an idea and or or you know a project that is very confidential or or documents that are confidential or um information that's confidential or just you being that way very secretive in your approach to your job it's demanding you to open up and to trust yeah, secrets, secrets, right? But also you're stabilizing your energy. Let's see where this goes. The emperor in control. You might be dealing with an Aries. It's possible. Aries boss, Aries leader, Aries father or, or someone you look up to. But I feel like it's you in control, right? Um, clear now. All this is clear to you. Clear goals or clear objectives or cleared the way or now a clear understanding, right, of what you want and what you're pushing forward. And your choice now is clear. Here we have the Two of Swords, which is demanding you to open up, demanding you to choose, right, to choose a way. Am I sticking to this? Am I sticking with these people that I don't want to share or that I don't feel a connection with or I don't feel I don't trust them in in developing my ideas or working with them or sharing documents or sharing information? I'm moving up to some, I'm moving up to something more important. Right? So you have great plans. It, it, you're you're pushing to stability here 
um, much clearer in your choices and much clearer in where you stand. I like that. I like that. And you're really in control, no matter what happens. So you being the keeper of knowledge here, you being the keeper of your ideas of this creativity, maybe this is a project that has been in gestation for a long time, that you've been trying to develop for a, night, a long time. And maybe this was confidential, or maybe it is still confidential, right? This is really about you, um, the, the keeper of knowledge, wanting now to develop this idea, finding a middle ground, finding a middle ground with the right people so you can develop this idea or so you can join a team or so you can put together a team to make it happen. Yes, and here we have, here we have the judgment. Big, big decision there. I like that. It's a massive decision. So is this decision now finally the time where you, you're okay? You trust these people? You're okay to partner up with these people? You trust them in working with them and developing this idea that's so secret? the keeper of knowledge, right? It feels like that. Is this something that you're okay with? And I feel like you will be at one point, right? It's, it's making peace, making peace, rising up to what is most important for you, getting rid of the superfluous, su super, superfluous, superfluous, right? What is not necessary. No need to revisit the past, right? This is finding new ways, finding the, like a final decision with a new outlook, with a new vision on that past, right? Separating yourself and making peace with that. And now you can finally move forward. It's like that resurrection, but you're okay leaving the past behind. You're okay being the keeper of knowledge and now trusting these new people a new team, a new partnership, uh, whatever it is, you're clear now. As long as you remain in control, clearly, right? You're the one that wants to be in control. But I think that you have, um, or it's, an, it's important to make this decision, this final decision with a new, a new outlook on the past, right? And fresh new energies new direction, being okay to let it go, being okay to, even if you still don't trust them, that's fine. It's not for you anymore. You're moving on to something else. All right, let's see if there are a few more messages in this second deck, Virgo, weekly, money and career, March 25th to the 31st, 2024. Yes, time it's time, Virgo, time to move forward with this magician. Uh, you have everything you need. You don't have to be stuck in those old ways. You don't have to be stuck with those people. You don't have to, you know, try to figure out because those are the people you, that are there and that's the only solution you have. So you just have to make do. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. I feel like you as a creator, you're, you're inspired now. And I think that there's a spark there. There's something there that, you know, where you realize. And I think it's this offer here, this new person, this new energy coming in with this offer that really makes you realize. It's a spark that makes you realize that, you wait a second, I have everything I need to make it happen. It's time for me to push forward on this. And not in that way with those people. I have to stop getting in, you know, playing those mind games where I feel stuck with those people and I don't have any other way to do it, right? It's not, it's not the devil and it's not the Eight of Swords. It's just you feeling that, uh, you know, it's time. It's time to um, resurrect that project or be proud of that project and, and make peace 
of whatever went wrong the first time or whatever you think of those people or whatever truths are coming out to make peace of this confusion, right? Weighing your options. I feel like there's almost, it's almost like you, maybe you chose an option and it went south, it didn't really work and now you had those doubts and no, or you really wanted to figure out what happened and you wanted that information and you wanted that truth, right? Between the high priestess and the moon and the queen of swords. Um, it's really about accepting to let it go. And here you have the King of Pentacles, Tur Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There you are. Um, now, being comfortable. Comfortable, abundant, finances coming in, um, stabilizing. But also, you're very generous, very kind with your time. And your, um, you, you're a very kind person. You're a fixer. You're a maker, or Virgo. And um, here you are finding a certain comfort in this control, a certain comfort, maybe being the leader of a team or a comfort in finally getting the right, you know, feeling at the right place to start this, um, this project job, whatever it is, the keeper of knowledge, right? That whatever you're nurturing, you've been nurturing for a while. Um, I think you're, there are trust issues, but I think now, you're at peace to start to move forward. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Virgo, weekly money and career, March 25th to the 31st. Yes, let it go. There you go. Let it go. You're working really hard. You're working really hard. You're very good at what you're doing. Whatever this is that you've been nurturing, what you've been trying to build that you've been trying to develop or, you know, this project, whatever you, you have worked really hard. You're very specialized at this and you're, you keep fine tuning it, but it's important. There's, there's that hang up there, that, that thing that, that is weighing on your shoulders that until you get that truth or until you have that conversation or until you clear the air or clear whatever, it's almost like you feel someone was going to steal your idea or breach confidentiality or something like that. It, and and it's, it's someone, so maybe it's an entity, maybe it's a company, maybe it's a group of people, maybe there's, it's one person, but it feels like it's up to you to let it go. That no matter what, people will be people, no matter what the trust issue is, it's still gonna remain unless you finally let it go like i say put it on the shelf close the door turn the key and close the cupboard and let it be where it is it's not going to disappear it has happened everybody acknowledges that it has happened but it's not for you to revisit let it go because now you're moving into a, a new direction right the, the death is really about that death of a phase and accepting that it's a death of a phase. So whether it's uh, the end of a job or whether it is um, you accepting or that what happened uh, and how it triggered you or accepting that that didn't work out or those people are, are not trustworthy or whatever it is, right? The hurtful moments, the triggers, it's important at one point to end that chapter and to move on, moving on. It's a change, but now you know, and you're in control of this new direction. But yeah, there is a choice to be made to open up, right? Consider that change. And how will you consider that change by moving into a new direction? And look at this, two times the magician. Is that not time? It's time time to move forward and time to also accept that you have everything you need to make it happen. Infinite possibilities because of your experience, because of your knowledge, all the tools, everything you've done up to now is serving you in this moment. You have everything you need. And I think that it's important to 
acknowledge that um, and and maybe not dwell so much on the past or if you did well I think it's dwelled enough because if you consistently consistently revisit right um, it's that's going to trigger again and block you again maybe this is something that has to do with maybe you're involved in family and you try to um start a business or you know and 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 do something together and it didn't work out or maybe it was with friends something right here with the two magicians it just is the moment where it's the perfect timing to move forward on that idea on that project to bring it to light and bring all your intentions to fruition to make it happen and you do have all the skills right and so i think that all those resources all those capabilities all those skills that you've gathered along the way right have led you to where you are now and so whether or not you know or whether or not you feel you have closure on the past situation i think you're ready to turn this idea into reality right so focus on that one thing that will move you towards that goal so commit to the task and and focus on that vision and it's almost like have that tunnel vision for once right <laughs> like i usually say open and be creative and be open to new energies here it's almost like have that tunnel vision to not be distracted by all the commotion that might be going on right from the past maybe that you're revisiting and keep that tunnel vision because what you're doing is worth it virgos i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did thank you so much for watching i feel like the magic word is trust right or let go let go let go and trust whatever you connect with whatever you feel your words are let go trust or trust and let go whatever um put those words down below in the comment section if you wish to put your name in the in the hat for free reading or just to empower yourself and others within this platform thank you so so much for watching thank you to each and every one for connecting for sharing your energies that is how i push forward in my reading so gratitude to all from the bottom of my heart thank you virgos have a great week take care bye bye